Hey guys, uh, this is Esoteric here, and um, I just wanted to comment on the recent uh, overwhelming um, conversations happening about hot so hit arrow hitboxes and how they specifically themselves are too large. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how it is a overall hitbox issue in Overwatch and not specific to uh, Hanzo himself. So if I show you guys here, so this is starting from the 5 meter line. You have nothing, and if you slowly move sideways, eventually you're going to get a headshot. It's actually going to be right over here. So you can see that, I'll wait for him to go again. If uh, you've played enough projectile heroes on the test map, you'll actually be able to pinpoint the spot that it hits, which is about right there. Let me kill this guy so I can get face him so it looks the same. Now this is with Hanzo specifically. Remember this spot right here. Now we're gonna go try it with the other projectile heroes. So to start off with, we'll do May. We'll go to a five meter line. Right here. We'll shoot over here. Nothing, right? Again, nothing. Now watch, this is that spot that we were aiming that we had with Hanzo as well. There you go, here's the headshot. So do the same thing here. The spot is going to be right about there. Um, some projectiles actually do appear to have larger hitboxes, specifically Mercy's pistol. Seems to have an actual large hitbox comparatively. If you remember that spot where we were hitting on Hanzo, this one is actually slightly to the right of it while I'm shooting here. And again on this one. So that's, this is the spot where we were shooting with Hanzo. This is the spot where we're hitting with Percy. Now you actually, you can actually have the same thing happening with Zenyatta. True self is without form. 5 meter line, you're good, and you're hitting, you're good, you're hitting, the same spot as the Hanzo arrows, now, uh, let's show you Torbjorn, 5 meter line, now Torbjorn actually appears, I think I'm a little bit too far away, is quite small. And I think that has to do with the angle it's shooting from. I'm still not directly on it, but it's slightly closer than the rest. Now. Genji. Genji's another one who has a slightly smaller hitbox, it seems. Um, on the shurikens. So, shoot the side. That was the spot where Hanzo and the other heroes were hitting slightly to the left of that, so you need to have your running almost touching. You hit. So that was the Hanzo spot, and you're just slightly to the right left of that. Also, that could be just me messing up, but as you can see, it still is a larger hitbox than it appears. There's also the issue of uh, Roadhog's hook. So, Roadhog's hook actually has an extremely large hitbox. Uh, this could be because I'm close, but with my testing, you see there, I didn't hook, but if I move slightly this way, I'm actually looking for it. Now, I want to show you something here. I have to swing outside of this, but I should be able to hit that robot behind it. See? I hooked him behind the wall. Now that was a, maybe a slight angle issue. Let's see if he goes back. Let's see if I can get him again without the angle. So it's a little bit hard. You do have to angle it a little, but you will hit him by the wall. Oh, 
So there you go. There's Overwatch hitboxes. Uh, they're all pretty large. Again, we can go back to the one that everybody seems to complain about, Hanzo, and you'll see roughly about the same spot. It might actually be a little bit larger, but they're all pretty big. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope next year is up some of the uh, hate that Hanzo mains are getting, and uh, hopefully we can have a decent discussion about it for you.